Okay. I don't know how to get going, but not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so when you hit that button, it's going yeah, on. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, let's, let's, I'm ready for you. All right. Yeah. Action. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Yarmouth Frame Shop and Gallery Conversations. Tonight we are featuring five artists with uh, their works in the gallery. They've been up for a month and we'll be up for another two two weeks, I think, two or three. And we're starting with KDB, Karen Dominguez, and her work. She works in acrylic on canvas and in caustics, which is a very interesting, different medium. Karen, would you like to tell us a little bit about the encaustics? I love encaustic work. I think it is magical to work in a room that smells like sweet honey. Ooh. What do I mean by that? Yeah. What I mean by that is that it's beeswax and damar resin. Ooh. So it's four parts beeswax, one part damar resin. They get the resin from India. Wow. And you have to filter out the elephant hairs and the insects. <laughs> That is so cool. Something I didn't know. <laughs> and when you look at a piece like this, um, it has, um, I'm, do, I'm painting at 220 degrees. Wow. And then as it cools, I put on the next layer, and then I fuse it with my heat gun. Oh. And in a piece like this, I do my background, and then I turn my palette down to about 180, so the wax becomes a little thicker. Mm. And I can really layer it on, just like a shell. How, how a shell is formed. And then I can go back through and I can carve it because there's so many layers well, of Well, I was going colors. to ask just how do you get that depth to it, that, that texture. And, and what's really fun about encaustic is it is wax and mm -hmm. it's, it's such a malleable thing that you can work with. Oh. Now, it's been um, a, a way of painting for 4,000 years. Wow. It was rediscovered in 1880 by an archaeologist. Oh. And then in the 50s and 60s, Jasper Jones brought it back to popularity. But some of the old Jasper Jones pieces are kind of falling apart because he didn't realize the fusing aspect. Oh. But now they have it all down to a clear science, and these works will last, well, forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah, because they, they got- thousands of years. <laughs> 4,000 that we know, know of. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. And how do you get your inspiration? I noticed you've got a lot of, uh, see is that is that something that you do from time to time or has it gone from one thing to another there's probably not a week goes by when i don't spend two or three days down at the low tide line just exploring around watching the turns feed the, mm -hmm. and the fish in the sea and the gulls collecting feathers and heart rocks and it's my very favorite place to be and living in maine there's so many crows. We see them in the snow. We see them at sunset. We see them in the mornings. They're everywhere. So it's, so it's, it's really quite, uh, quite easy to, to, to watch them in their antics and then depict them. And I really love doing them in the wax because I can really get the effect of a feather. Yeah, you can. And, and it's, it's raised up against the background. So that is why I like to use wax and crows. And is the um, graphite something new for you? Yeah, graphite is super fun. I love fun. that. Because you get a dreamy, smoky effect. And I, I've done all kinds of different things. Here is a heron in the marsh. And the graphite just gives it this kind of southern smoky effect. Yeah, it's very nice. And the color palette. Is that just something that you've come up with, or do you take it from nature, a little bit both? Um, pretty much from nature. Uh, this crow with the berries is, it could be at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day when the light is kind of yellowish near mm -hmm. the horizon yeah, it's beautiful. and bluish towards the top. And here it's kind of yellowish, so again, it could be the very beginning of the day right. before the sky starts turning blue. They're so different. I mean, this one is really dramatic in it contrast whereas this one's more subtle. It's really well, quite beautiful. And the maybe heron almost day, maybe. Yeah, and the heron almost disappears in that. Yeah it does. Which is what a heron does in nature so you can secure them. Very nice. Yes. Well, very thank nice. you. Thank, thank you very you. much. I love being in your gallery. Oh we love having you. <laughs> That's how it's done kids. <laughs> 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 <laughs>